being the establishment of uh, corporations, Wall Street, and the Democratic and the Republican Party being combined as being called the establishment. And there's something that I wanted to bring forward in this interview from the last time that we ran for office in 2014 and you interviewed me, which got a lot of, a lot of press and a lot of exposure. And, and uh, you know, praise God that your, your efforts have now gone and been, been, been seen as legitimate. You know, this, this press outlet is now doing presidential and major political and more importantly social concerns. Mm -hmm. Not just in the district, the 15th district, I'm Dennis Satia, I'm, I'm running as a writing again in the 15th district for the main reason, for the main reason to help feed the hungry and clothe the poor. You know, we've expanded to over 40 food banks. I'm a farmer. And Charlie Dent spent a million dollars on his campaign to run against me in 2014. And a million dollars to run against a writer. Getting back to the establishment, you know. Charlie Dent is one of those established politicians who need to be replaced. The establishment in America today, okay, um, has spent our resources. This is really, this is going back 50 years. Our country is so wealthy that there's no reason, there's no reason that during this terrible storm that just hit us, not just us, you know, to the south, Haiti, you know, um, hundreds and hundreds of deaths. And where, where, where's the support? Where's the support for our folks in Florida, up to North Carolina? Yeah. Yeah. But, but you look and see what they're spending their money on. They're spending trillions of dollars, 1.4 trillion to Iran. I mean, give, give me a break. Four billion dollars to Israel. Where, where, what, what and how could our government, that's Democrats and Republicans, the establishment that we're talking about, that um, that is, is, is doing such hideous, hideous uh, things with, with the taxpayers' money. And it's time, it's time first and foremost for the taxpayers to wake up and say, hey, no more of this. Vote out all all establishment on both tickets, Democratic and Republican, because it's got to stop. It's got to stop. We got to start taking care of the people in need. And um, that's the first and foremost issue that our rich country, our rich and wealthy country should do. There's no reason that in Allentown, Pennsylvania, and in Reading, Pennsylvania, our district in Lebanon, Pennsylvania, and Dauphin County, Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, and Bethlehem and Easton in Northampton, there's over 40 food banks that need that need money. And Charlie Dent spent a million dollars, a million, mm -hmm. to run against me in 2014 or writing. What Charlie should have done was given a half a million dollars to those food banks. And that is the type of thing that we need done in our country, first and foremost. Secondly, if you look at the proposals that we talked about, you know, in my flyer and in the newspaper ads last year, the first one is, of course, the biggest, the biggest um, item that, that, that Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump and Cruz all agreed upon is that NAFTA, NAFTA in China is a disaster. Now, establishment, establishment, Charlie Dent 
You don't have a problem with NAFTA in China. In fact, one of the reasons Charlie Dent, that I believe the main reason he's fighting Donald Trump is because the Chinese money that's behind him. Right here in our 15th district, there is money being invested by the Chinese, and they're contributing to Charlie Dent. So that's the reason Charlie Dent is against Donald Trump. Be truthful, Charlie. You understand? I mean, look, Charlie, listen, listen, both presidential candidates have their problems, okay? But for Charlie Dent to be a Republican and say, oh, I'm against Donald Trump, that's the establishment speaking. That's the Chinese money that's behind him speaking, okay? So from my perspective, uh, Sanders and Trump and Cruz were all anti-establishment. It was a beautiful thing. It was one of the most exciting primaries in the history of our country, this great country that we live in. There's never been a primary like that. And what the big buzz was, anti-establishment. Three, 17 Republican candidates and three Democratic candidates, the four finalists, three of the four were anti-establishment. Right? So, let's talk about Sanders and Trump. Okay? They were both agreeing on on NAFTA and China. They both agree on anti-establishment and the Democratic Party and the Republican Party both rejected them. And we all know the history of what happened to, to Bernie Sanders, okay? You know, Buffalo cheated. That's what happened to him by the Democratic Party themselves, right? The established Democratic Party. Let's talk about Donald Trump. He's currently being Buffalo, tried to be Buffalo by who? The establishment. So I'm an anti establishment uh, candidate as a write in. And I said NAFTA was bad. And, and there's an article in the Bethlehem Press that ran. I'm going to leave this for you. You read this. The date of this is uh, October 29, 2014. Okay? Mm -hmm. And if you read the article in here, I talk about the food banks, because that's my, my, my foremost important effort. You know, Ch Charlie Dent spent the million dollars. Uh, me and my farmer buddies contributed a million tons of food to 40 food banks. How's that one for you? Now, what could have Charlie Dent done with that money? What could all the politicians do? You hear, you hear these ridiculous amounts of money being spent on these political campaigns, we got people starving in our district. Why don't Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump go ahead and donate a couple bucks to these food banks in the district? So the, with that you being understand? said, the million dollars of campaigning essentially against nobody on the ticket, except for a right, right yourself, me. right? But the million dollars, just to, just to maintain, to keep the stationary looking nice and sharp, and just to have some protocol out there, to, to, that's a million dollars, even if that's doubly exaggerated, $500,000 could have been to these food banks. Absolutely, Chris. It's, it's, it's ridiculous, but it gets back to the establishment. Okay? It gets back to where they're spending their money and how they think. Did you ever see it? They're spending it on themselves. They're making sure that themselves are set up. That's why, that's why um, um, Bernie Sanders and Donald Trump and Cruz were so, so successful and effective in their primary campaigns. And it's so important that the people don't get fooled. You know, it is so critical, if we're gonna have change in this country, okay, that, that, that we turn over, we turn over and start with men and women, men and women, that are anti-establishment. Breaking the walls of the establishment. Because Absolutely. The public perception, it's comfortable, it's cozy having the establishment. But yet the same, the same side of it, the other side of it, actually, it's, it's horrific. It, it, it's, it brings look, society look, Chris, Chris, displaced the people, a bit. The people in our country, the reason why your, your, your media source has grown and grown and grown, it, man, people have had it. People have had it with the establishment. And I'm going to hope and pray 
that every single person in this country votes anti-establishment because that is what's going to change this country around. Okay, is is for us to elect guys like Charlie Dent to start? Let's start with Charlie Dent. It's the same shit, different day. I told my wife I was going to say Manor, okay, because I'm a farmer. People, All right? people, it, people prefer plain language. Okay? It's natural. It's yeah. the same shit, different day. Okay? Now, Charlie Dent, I want to stick to, to Charlie Dent. Charlie Dent and the, uh, the, the, the Clinton have a couple of things in common. Okay? Both of them, both of them have been thinking. Thank you so much. Both of them have been politicians for 26 years. Career politicians. Career politicians. Now, what, what do the people want? They want a guy that's been in office for 26 years? The public set in their ways. The perception is, you know, it's... I'm, I'm going to tell you men this, man. Uh, I hope and pray that the men and women, young and old, in this district, okay, write in Dennis J. Atia, and Chris told me, type it. It's real easy when you vote. It's not like the old days where you have to write something down and then stick it in and, you know, I've done that with friends of mine. You just go in and type in Dennis, D-E-N-N-I-S-J-A-T-I-Y-E-H for 15th District Congress. And, and that's pretty much from Dolphin County to Northampton County. And, um, you know, real, real, real easy, real easy. The whole Lehigh, Lehigh, Lehigh Northampton County Brooks County, Lebanon County, and Dauphin County. Those Thank counties. you for defining that because one thing that I've actually ta- asked politicians at different events I've covered is, you know, the politicians are like, oh, the district's and everything else, and it's like, you know what, why don't you do, most, most voters don't realize, I don't barely know what district I'm in. And I cover this. It's like, just, just to tell people what cities, what towns, what counties you cover versus saying the district because this way, they, this way they have an idea versus having to try to look something up, which they may not have and time to do. The crucial point that Dennis just made is it, it's it's called a write-in, but it, essentially it's a type-in. Yes. Specifically, it's a type-in. Yeah. You're in the booth. Dennis mm-hmm. J. Atia. Just come in, type it in, and that, that's Chris, my volunteer, yeah. Christopher Pez. And a good friend and fellow Central Catholic Always. graduate. Yes. My, uh, my volunteer, uh, blessed uh, campaign manager, and... Uh, you know, I, I would tell you, uh, it's so, so critical, don't listen to the bull that the media sources are throwing out at you, okay? Vote, vote from your conscience, vote from your heart, vote for change. America needs to change, and the only way that's ever going to happen is anti-establishment and let's get back to Bernie Sanders and Cruz and Trump all three all three of them are anti-establishment and what's beautiful what's beautiful is this and I want to point this out this is one of my flyers and this is a newspaper article from the from the Bethlehem Press and and uh, there's one from uh, the uh, Lebanon Lebanon and and that's what the district Lebanon city of Lebanon Lebanon County Dolphin County, parts of uh, parts of Hershey, and uh, Luzerne, uh, no, no Luzerne, no Luzerne's up high. Right. Okay. It's it's. Uh, I just gave you the counties: Northampton, Lehigh, Berks, Lebanon, and Dolphin. Dolphin. Okay. Which the main cities in Harrisburg, parts of Harrisburg, uh, Hershey, Lebanon, Wow, uh, Reading, parts of Reading, and then of course Allentown, Bethlehem, and Easton. Okay? Wow. So what what I'm what I'm gonna do now is um, I'm just gonna I'm gonna close on this one thought and then we'll take a break. I want you to eat. Okay. Uh, but, but what I what I'm gonna Good, tell you. Good. I have questions when we come back that are gonna throw you. That I'm actually gonna try to throw you off because that's my job as the media. Hey, listen, man, God is great, and you know, knock yourself out. And actually, in your flyer, you actually did you, you answered. You are the only politician. I actually answered one question that I've not been able to get an answer out of any other politician. And, and just keep something in mind now. This is from 2014, this yeah. flyer and these articles. The articles are all going to come out now for 2016's election. Mm-hmm. And and uh, they're all new. But, but the points I wanted to make as far as Sanders and Trump and, 
and, and uh, uh, Cruz, all NAFTA, Mexico and and um, Mexico and China. I want to I want to I want to I want to say what I said. This is in 2014. Dennis will stop China and repeal NAFTA. He will create millions of manufacturing jobs for Americans while stopping drugs and human trafficking from China and Mexico. Okay, this will also cut the burning of fuels to transport the goods, stop poisoning our citizens, our pets, and our ear. Okay, I said that in 2014. Now everyone's all over that, right? Mm -hmm. What else I said that all three of the men, and particularly Cruz, I'm going to go to Cruz, abolish the IRS. <laughs> That was Cruz's big song, right? Uh -huh. I'm going to abolish the IRS. But what, what, what I was saying, though, I want to abolish them, but I want to, with all of this, this uh, new wave technology, new age technology, new wave technology, you know, they call the internet the wave. Right. But, but uh, what I will say to you guys is, is by merging the federal offices with the state offices, like, you know, when you file your yeah. income tax, you pay a state tax and a federal tax. Mm -hmm. Why not merge it all under one roof and abolish the IRS? Save the taxpayers, save the taxpayers trillions of dollars. Just get rid of them, take their good workers, put them in the, in the states that they're in, and just shut it down. Why do we need this big expense of the IRS? So I was on the same page with Cruz, and the last, the last thing before you break, I wanted to look at Bernie Sanders here. Bernie, this is the, the this is the journal, the Press and Journal, and I want to give you a copy of this. This is what this this is what the guy writes. I'm gonna give you a copy of this. He says, write in, write in candidate. What? Wants a civil war? <laughs> Remember Bernie Sanders? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. He's he's driving around his big thing. I want a civil war. It's kind of a revolutionary war, right? Everybody wants us to talk about a civil war. This is in 2014. Mm -hmm. This article was written in the Preston Journal. That's in Lebanon County. Mm -hmm. And uh, so, as far as I'm concerned, the three major, the three major candidates out of the four were all anti-establishment and were saying the same thing we were saying and the same thing that you covered. If you go back to the interview, yeah. In 2014, mm -hmm. and I know you still have it because people are, are, are checking it out. Yeah. Pull it up from 2014. I'm actually going to include a link to that. And put, put the two together. Mm -hmm. These are all the things I was talking about two years ago. And three out of the four mm -hmm. um, of the candidates that were finalists out of 20, 17 Republicans, three Democrats, mm -hmm. right? Out of 20, yeah. the three out of the four finalists were echoing what we talked about and what you covered. Yeah. In 2014. So, um, with that being said, I want you to take a break and eat your food, man. Okay. Um, uh, you're making me nervous. I know you're going to have in the next second. With me, the job always comes first. <laughs> okay. <laughs>